What's going on guys? Welcome to a Friday Nitro Gang Live. Now, I started a little bit early. You guys okay with that? I was a little excited, okay? My indigestion, my indigestion is excited as well, okay? Just took some uh, like indigestion pills. I hope I'm okay, but you know, whatever. So, I know the stream still says like eight minutes or something, but uh, we are live. We're not gonna wait for nobody. The people that matter, the people that will matter, you guys. I think you're already here. Are you here? Come on, give me give me a high five. Give me a high five. If you want to give me a high five, go ahead, put it in the chat. Now I just said earlier, if you guess what's this, what's inside, I'll buy you some pizza. So luckily, uh, nobody guessed because I spent a lot of money on this, okay? Nobody nobody guessed. But guys, with the box you're looking at, yes, it's a sickening Nitro RS43 Type SS. This in fact was originally sold as an unassembled kit and guys so far nobody got it correct now maybe i was a little bit uh incorrect in my titling we can go over it guys we can go over it but what i just put what i just put i'm gonna open it up and um like bodoja likes to say what's going on with bodoja everybody i don't know uh, you lifting a lot of weights or something guy getting too strong you know but like bodoja likes to say there's some goodies in here some goodies and none of them None of them are electric, my guys. None. Let me say hello to everyone. I just see we got Joseph Watkins. What's up, brother? We got Hellfire, Dodger Boy, Booster RC is here. All right. The Nitro Gang is coming in. Tarek Curry, a big fan of the HPI gang. Uh, I just saw Inigo here a little earlier. He got his beer ready. So everybody, get what you need. Get ready. Because I'm going to tell you something. We can debate this today, my guys. We can debate this. But what's inside this box? It is a Nitro, it does happen to be a Nitro RS-43, but it's not just a regular one. It's not a regular one. You're probably asking yourself, what is this hybrid over here wearing black on black? Where's he think he's going? Where he think he going? You know where I'm going? I'm going to Nitro Gang land, okay? Oh, we got Earl Moed, how you doing? I gotta check out your new video, the quest for 100 miles per hour. I'm gonna check that out, bro. I'm not making fun of Losi anymore, okay? I just want you to know. Uh, we're not making fun of it. The only thing we can do is buy more nitros, all right? Sickening. But for reals, I, I, I gotta check that out video. So, um, I see some wolf packs over here from Rinks. This ain't no wolf pack. The wolf pack is dead. Hulk Hogan, he can no longer wrestle. Scott Hall, he gone too, you know? You know what I'm saying? Now, that crazy guy, Jay, how you doing, bro? I just saw your comment there on YouTube. I didn't get a chance to respond. I am I am very sorry, man, but it was a great comment. I was going to give it a heart, but I will do that later, okay? Today, today, it's not only Nitro Birthday Day. By the way, this came with a very, very rare. Uh, originally, this would have had the 12 RSS engine. Very rare. It's a .12 with over one horsepower. Now, if you guys know anything about horsepower, one Plus horsepower for a .12 is actually very, very, very significant. The OS-12 CV had .54 horsepower. So this is way beyond, way beyond sickening. I'm going to wait a little while longer here because I think uh, I started too early. What's going on there, Brian Schumann? We got a special delivery from Brian Schumann in the mail in a little while. It's going to be something a little like, you know, you, what, what, what's your guys' favorite band from like the 80s? Anybody here like Slayer? A little Slayer? Is it a little Slayer? That's right. It's a little Slayer gang. Okay, guys. I see we got a Corey, Inigo, Dodger Boy, Earl of Moorhead right here. Sickening quest for the world's fastest confection. Okay, I will no longer call it a bagel. I will no longer do that. Although, although the other day I went, I went to Costco, guys. Um, and I, I just want to tell you, the, the Losi bagel is very overpriced. Because, like, for real, like, like, for real, for real, I'm going to show you right now. They're, they're always on sale at Costco. Like, I always have this picture ready in case anybody asks me about, like, bagels, what I think about them. I'll be like, you should never pay more than $7.99 for, like, two rolls of bagels. Um, that's, like, standard Costco pricing. You pay more than $7.99 for, for two rolls of bagels? It's, it's not a good idea, bro. It ain't a good idea, okay? All right, in a go. I'm always up for games. Now, I'm going to show you something, guys. This is not everything I got. This is not everything I got. You want to see a little something else? You want to see a little something? Maybe you guys could take a little take a little guess what's in this box. Are, are, are you all ready? 
By the way, today is Nitro Sandy's birthday. He is one year old. So, yeah, congratulations to Sandy, okay? He might come visit us in a little bit. I'm going to show you a little something over here from the side. Um, what, what, what does that look like to you? Anybody getting any hints of what, what's in this box? Do we have any hints? Are there any hints coming along? This is a Toyota Trueno. It's a Trueno gang, baby. Trueno gang. That means a drifter. It's a drifter. Okay? That's what it is. It's not the only thing. It is not the only thing. We also got GTR. Not my favorite GTR, but it's, it's a GTR, okay? So we got a GTR, gang. So do you guys do you guys know where I'm where I'm headed with this right now? Like anybody anybody have any idea at all? Um, because that's not even it. That's not even it. What's up, Panda Phobia? How you doing? Whoa! What the hell is that? It's a slightly poorly painted WRX body. Anybody know? What the hell is about to go down? Something crazy is going to happen. That's not even everything. I just showed you a little bit. Okay? I just showed you a little bit. Um, is that Nitro Sandy knocking on the door upstairs? Is that Sandy? I don't know if it is or it isn't. Okay. Booster RC. He got a little uh, correct terminology over there. He said the word drift. Now, you guys might know, I already own a Nitro RS43 Drift, right? I do. So, what, 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 what's so unique about this? Oh, Indigo with the sickening Nitro donations over here. He goes, one-to-one -one match donations, you humans. I love being called humans, bro. I'm, I'm honestly very happy you called everyone in here a human. That, that means a lot to us, okay? We got Nitro Sandy. I'm going to see if he wants to come and say hello to all of you guys. It's his birthday. All right, and then we're going to uh, unbox this. You gotta be, you gotta be real quiet, cause Sandy, guys, he was just chasing a laser. He was chasing a laser. Melissa, you didn't go with a sickening donation here. Sandy, we're gonna buy your birthday cake with that, bro. Birthday cake. Let me let me go get him. Hold on. Hold on. All right, Melissa. Melissa said the cat's mine. She not giving them to me, so I guess we'll just show them to you, you guys. Wanna wanna say hello to Sandy? It's his birthday. We've had him for basically like what eight months already, and we got him at four months. So it's his birthday, bro. Okay, sick. And actually, it's um, I didn't want to say this out in public, but like. Um, it's kind of a celebration weekend for all of us, you know, not only me or Sandy or Nitros and you guys out here It's actually Melissa's and I anniversary tomorrow. Yeah, it's uh, anniversary day. Tomorrow. You know what that means? That means tomorrow we're gonna go to a Mediterranean restaurant. and I'm gonna order falafel. I Don't know why I all week have wanted some Mediterranean like food falafel and shit, you know, like that's what I've been wanting I know uh, Tara Curry invited us uh, out a little earlier. I gotta, we gotta take you up on that offer. So thank you guys. I'm gonna show you a little Sandy, and then we're gonna get down to Nitro. So basically, Sandy was just chasing around the slaves that we bought him. So he's a little erratic right now, you know. Uh, sickening celebration. We're supposed to have rain all weekend, so like I don't know if we're even gonna go to the RC track. So guys, if you're here for this live, I really appreciate it. Stay. We're gonna do this as long as I can, or unless I throw up from the kombucha. Okay. If I throw up from the kombucha. At least we'll know what it's from, okay? We'll know what it's from, and it's not from taxes, okay? Although I do throw up from taxes sometimes when I see my check. Okay, Booster RC, sickening. Thank you for that donation, bro. Maybe with the $10 to this channel. Love this guy. Love this guy. Uh, we have some channel news later. Uh, I'm going to let you guys pick whether I go to a sanctioned, like, Tamiya race or whether I go to a swap meet. I don't know. I'm going to let you know. Uh, but the thing is, for the Tamiya race, I'm going to have to buy a Tamiya TTO2 and build it. So, I... I I have one, but to be honest with you, it's like a truck. I don't think it's you're allowed to run those. So let me show you a little bit of Sandy and a little bit of Melissa. All right. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Oh, thank God it's still here. I don't know if it froze, guys. Give me a little second here. Sickening. Sickening. Are we still over here? 
We should still be here. I, I've been having connection problems. Sorry, guys. Let me read everyone's uh, donations. Oh, man, we got a lot of matching going on. Melissa, we're going to upgrade tomorrow to the Russian Tea Room. Okay, we got another sickening 100 match from uh, Inigo. Oh, man, this is sickening, sickening. Sandy, it's all because of you. Thank you, bro. I love you. Okay. But your cat food cost me like $50 a month. Okay. Guys, I got to be really careful with this internet connection. It's, I don't know why. Today is like some kind of like, we're supposed to have a nor'easter tomorrow. So let me get down to business. I appreciate all of your donations. Um, what I say? I got to be careful with the camera. So just stay. If for some reason it freezes, I will do part two. So just come back, you know, if I, if it freezes. But okay, let's, let's get down to business. Melissa, no, go stay there. That all. I hope you guys could still see. Is the audio okay? We're going to open it a little bit because I'm going to tap in. Um, I never... Is that over It's birthday. And... Sick. Sandy. All right. To, to, the, to the Nitro Gang. Hi. Oh, that's you. You. Oh, man. It's from... Okay. All right, guys, hold up a second. Is it still frozen? Hold on. Okay, are we back? Guys, are we back? I don't know what's going on over here. It's sickening. Okay, it might get a little better. Let me not move around too much. So what happens is when you get when you get too much cuteness on one video, like you know Melissa over there and like Sandy, you know it's, it just freezes. I mean I don't know what to tell you. You know it's too much freaking cuteness over here. All right, but anyways, guys, I'm happy. Uh, we're all back. Let's get down to business. Thank you all so much for your donations. Inigo's doing the matcha route tonight. You know if I could donate to myself, I would right now. You know it's like why not? You know, I made a bad stock market decision. I bought UNG the other day. Anybody ever buy UNG? It's a natural gas company. Shit tanked right away. Unbelievable. Okay, all right. Okay. But for real though, like, it's, it's like every investment I've ever made has literally been the opposite of what you should have done. Eventually, it always balances out, but you got to wait like a month or two. You know, you can't be like selling off right away. But for real, UNG, you know, uh, natural gas. I thought it was going to go up. It went down. Freaking tanker. Okay, another one. Another one. NIO, you know, the Chinese uh, battery company, don't be buying NIO, you're going to lose your money, all right? I'm already living that life. Okay, guys, so how much, uh, man, I think we lost some people here because of uh, the choppiness. I'm sorry about that. Let me wait a couple more minutes. Um, uh, everyone, if you could still see, let me know. We're going to open this up. Uh, I'm a little excited, to be honest with you. C could you tell I'm a little excited? To be honest with you, so far... Nobody has guessed correctly. Oh, Earl Borhead goes, Bitcoin sent him a bill for his investment. Dude, I, I don't understand how Bitcoin is still, like, real even. Like, it's it's real. Okay. Okay, Booster RC says, we good, Mighty Mike. How you doing? All right. Everybody, is it time to open it up? Oh, we got Xavier's RC here. Been a Nitro Gang member for six months. Uh, I appreciate you joining up again. Earlier, him and I were chatting, you know, he's like, yo, when, when's the next Nitro Gang stream, man? I'm getting withdrawals. You know, I told him, go take, like, a Tylenol and come back at 8.30. And he's here again, bro. How you doing? All right? Kidding around. I didn't tell him about the Tylenol. We were just talking about, like, Nitro stuff, you know, and, like, puzzles. All right, for real, though. Okay, guys, without further ado, are, are you ready? As uh, Triple H likes to say. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure, okay, we'll talk more about the box. Okay, so what we got right now. Hold on a second, guys. This is going to blow you away when I take it out of the box. Wow. Why is the exhaust kind of on the back? Anybody know why the exhaust is on the back? Shit, that's weird. Hold on. Hold on. This is about to get real, everybody. Um, let me get ready. I'm gonna take it out of the box. Anybody um, can take a guess what this is. So the body's a little, uh, let me fix it up a little bit. I have like things in here. Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, the antenna. We got antenna gang, bro. This is gonna win the award for antennas. Okay. Okay. 
I'm hoping the quality is okay right now. Man, this is like the worst day to do a live stream, but it's okay. What are you going to do, you know? Uh, I already set it up. Now, anybody has any ideas what what this is? So, yes, the body is a sickening uh, Levin. It's a Toyota Levin. Levin. So, I think Levin was um, not Lemon. Not Le Levin was the JDM name for Corolla, I think. Anybody can correct me? Oh, man, the internet is real bad right now. Oh, somebody saw the spare chassis? Hold on a second. What 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 is this spare chassis? Oh man, the internet is so bad. I, I feel bad for doing this stream, my guys. I feel, I feel real bad. But we're gonna continue. I think it'll get better. I might reset it. So yes, Mighty Mike, Levin is not a synonym for lemon. Although some people think it is. Some people, some people think it is. Um, anybody saw this chassis for anything? This is not like any kind of HPI chassis you've ever seen, huh? Oh, man. The internet is real bad. There's a lot of other things in here. For instance, this wheel. What kind of wheel is this? This is a plastic wheel. Do you know what that means? Let me wait a couple minutes. I think maybe the choppiness will go away. I'm having some kind of damn internet connection here, guys. I don't know what the hell is going on. Give me a moment here. My guys, man, I feel bad when this happens. If you know who runs this internet, I will go beat them up. Okay, let me do a little uh, reset here. Oh, man, are we any better? Let me know. If we're better, I hope we're better. Sickening. All right, let's get this down to business, guys. Um, yeah, the connection's real bad. I don't know. The only thing I can do is, like, reset on Melissa's phone, but I think, like, it's an overall bad connection today. Guys, are you ready to take a look under the body? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on a second. You know how I like to do things? Do you, do you know how I like things? I like to ask questions. Okay, it's like it's like middle school over here. Why do we have a rear exhaust and why the cooling head in the center of the chassis? Did you guys notice the cooling head in the center? Oh, if the internet lets me, okay, because it's doing real bad right now. I'm going to call up and yell at the internet. Nitro and electric car C, yes. Okay, I think I think it got a little better. I think, okay. Holy moly. Feel real bad. Feel real bad. You know, one of my worst things is like getting an assignment at work that like I don't want to do. Or like not not having good internet connection when you're doing a stream. Because like both, both you should get slapped for. Both, okay. Okay. But the question is, I think it's back a little bit. Why is the engine in the middle? Anybody have any nitros like that? I'm just curious. Anybody have any nitros where the engine's in the middle? What does this mean? Anybody have any idea at all? Because I'm going to tell you something, guys. Wait till you see under it. I'm doing this real slow like Texas likes. You know, Texas Hill over here, all of us like to take things slow. Unless, of course, you're on a first date. Then on, on the first date, those rules don't apply, you know what I mean? Like, they apply like when you're married. Uh, later, okay, Melissa didn't hear that. She's probably busy right now feeding the cat. Okay, so I think, uh, oh, someone said two-speed, baby. Okay, here's the rear end. Sickening. Are you guys, uh, are you guys ready? So far, I don't think anybody here has said what this model is. And it's not a regular model, my dudes. It's not a regular model. And that is what makes this extremely, extremely rare. So let's take a close-ass look at it. What's up, Oscar Quendo? Okay, that's right. Inigo agrees. Slow is good. That's right. You want to slow roast your, your, like, pastrami? You ever go to, like, a nice deli? The pastrami there takes, like, 12 hours to cook. Well, you know what? Nitros take years to legends, okay? You think Armas will ever become a legend? No. You think 12 years from now someone's going to be proud of an Arma outcast? They ain't gonna be proud. All they're gonna say is, oh man, that's a V1 Arma Outcast. They're up to like V12. V12. 12 versions of the Outcast. That's what I want, okay? But I want the first version of the Nitro. Okay? There you go. Look, okay guys, there's a lot more stuff in this box. We're gonna open it up in a little bit. I gotta really like kind of rush right now uh, because uh, the internet is, is, is being real janky. It's being real, real, real janky. Okay, I don't even know, like, who...
who came up with that dumbass word janky? It's not. Oh man. Let's see. I'm going to show you the inside real slow. All right, you guys ready? Okay. All right. Who wants to come and take this off? You want to come take this off? So we got a question for you guys. Oh man, are we still? Uh, are you? Are you still even able to see anything right now? Because I feel real bad. I feel real bad. I feel so bad. I'm gonna take a little drink. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a drink, guys. I feel bad. I'm sorry. Sickening. Oh man. All right, guys. All right. So today is the Nitro Sandy anniversary uh, with Melissa special Nitro. Okay. Okay, you guys can see, okay, just let me know, because I do check the chat over here, okay? I have a pretty good eyesight, I'm better than some people with, like, you know, dead, dead, dead brains, and that don't read, like, their comments. I know Texas Hill always reads his comments, Nicholas Huntoon always reads his comments. Uh, all of my friends read their comments, like, but some, you know, brain dead people don't read their comments. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready? Okay, you ready? I'm going to do this. Real slow, everybody. Okay. Okay, we got a definition of janky here from Inigo. I think Marky Mark said it. Did Marky Mark say it? Really, though. Really, though. Really, though. You know, today, I was on the subway, guys. I was on the subway. And, like, uh, this, like, you know, guy. Like, I was legit going home on the subway, right? You, you'll see the video. I recorded a part of it. Um, he legit started smoking a blunt in the train. Like, like in the train. Okay? So I took a picture of it. There's this dude with a blunt in his hand, okay? I'm like, bro, you need to, you need to get yourself a janky nitro. Get, get that blunt out of your hand, bro. Uh, go get, go get a nitro and and live the good life, man. Uh, so he 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 legit like rolled up in the train, lit up in the train. But what people don't know is New York City. New York City has a lot of cops on the train. He got arrested almost right away. Okay, turns out they were just walking through the train. Okay, sicko, what a sicko. All right, guys. Um. I'm gonna wait a little while longer. There's a little hope. If for whatever reason it shuts shuts down, yeah. Well, the thing is, you know, it ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm I'm all for his right to smoke. But like, the train is basically full of people that are really angry at all times because we're all going home from work and there's always delays and it's like super and nowhere to stand and you don't want to pay for that shit. And also, uh, there's nowhere to sit. So like, you don't want to be. And if you're not a smoke, you don't want to be inhaling that. You know what I'm saying? It's super janky, bro. Yankee shit going on. Okay. You guys ready? I'm going to do this real slow. I hope. Okay. Is this slow enough for you? Okay. Well, my dudes. Has anybody ever seen anything like this? It is very, 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 very rare. So anybody want to actually tell me what this is? Go ahead, make the Nitro Gang Day. What is this? So we already know this is not a factory ready to run. That's right, B Trial Bros. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, I got nothing against smoking, bro. I did it a couple times, but like for me right now in my life, I don't need it. You know what I'm saying? I got a cat, I got nitros, I got you guys out there, I got Melissa, I got Murano with a dead computer on the side of the street right now. The car has a dead, mo dead computer, I can't even move it anyway, it's dead. But RC got it correct, bro. This is the super, super stage D-drift, guys. We're going to take a more detailed look at it. This chassis actually has a ton of factory carbon fiber. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, bro, I, I, I've never seen an RS4 with like factory carbon fiber, right? Go ahead. Tell yourself that. Okay, tell yourself that. But this has it. And why is that? Okay, we also have like, you know, uh, intercooler. I think they took this from the Mazda CX, uh, CX-7. You know, CX-7, like the worst Mazda crossover ever made. All right, ever made. Now, I got a question for you guys. What's up with that pipe, though? What's up with that pipe, though? And when you spell dough, it's D-O-E. Oh, I owe Lotus Pizza? It's okay, I'll buy him pizza. He's a good dude. Okay, I'll buy, I'll buy him 
some rampage wheels, a pizza. I don't know. You know, Lotus 420 out there making Red Cat Rampage is great again, bro. I'm proud of him, okay? I'm proud of him. You know how many times I get like sickening negative comments on my channel about the Red Cat Rampage? You're like, bro, grow up, get get a MCD. Get 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 a whatever it's like expensive. I'm like, what the hell's the point, bro? Dope. Exactly. And it go goes dope. D O H. I feel like getting some pizza after this, actually. If my indigestion goes away. Okay. This is a special header that was only included with this particular model. Now, this is not the original pipe, but this does happen to be a THS. So let me tell you guys a, a little bit of history. We're going to actually investigate this a little further because this is probably some of the stuff we will never, ever, ever see anywhere again. But let me just first ask you, is the stream quality okay right now so I could actually like, continue and, not, and uh, move around a little bit? I hope it's okay. All right. So, you guys do know I own another drift model, but that is the Nitro RS43 uh, drift ready to run. Right, guys? That was the ready to run. This model was originally just a regular RS43, and you had to buy a kit called the Mission, no, called the Stage D Drift. Stage D. You want to go Stage D, bro? Melissa. Yo, Melissa, it's our anniversary tonight, boo. We're gonna go stage D tomorrow and, and tonight, okay? Depending how late it might be tomorrow, okay? But that's a, it's a little secret between you and I, Melissa, okay? Don't don't let Sandy hear about it. Take a real close look at this chassis because this is not something I'm telling you you will most likely ever see again. It is very, very rare. Oh man, the quality is real bad. If the quality is bad, guys, I might just uh re redo the stream tomorrow and we'll um I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh what's up, Ozzy? Madman Dan, Aussie Mad Dan. My bad, bro. I butchered your, your, your username there. Okay. <sighs> Guys, I really like from the bottom ventricle of my heart. I think the ventricles in the bottom on the top, you have like the, the what is the other part of the heart called? I don't know. The, the bottom, you got the ventricles, okay? I feel bad, okay? All right. Oh, man. In a go here with the match gang. Sickening. He's going to go, he's going to make me make a deal today on a nitro that I didn't think I wanted to buy, like a bolt. Depending how this goes, right? So, that's right, the ventricles, bro. I remember, I remember my uh, uh, chemistry, chemistry, right? Chemistry, yeah, chemistry. Okay, no shit, biology, biology. My bad. Damn, it's the kombucha. The the ventricles got all crazy. Okay, guys, we're going to take left and right, but there's also other parts. There's four chambers in the heart, right? There's four chambers. There's the ventricles, and then there's the, no, the aorta is, is on top. That's the main blood supply. Uh, so what, what are the other two? Okay, I don't know. Anyways, someone should ask somebody. Let's uh, let's get down to business, guys. I'm going to give you a close look at the chassis right now. Uh, because this thing is, ah, oh, man, it, it, is, it is very interesting, okay? So let's, let's do this. Hey, guys, check it out. Close, close. I'm going to get real close and personal. You can kiss it if you want. Okay, go ahead. Kiss it. Oh, we got KGM over here. How you doing? I was just uh, talking to KGM a little while ago. Man, KGM had some great videos at the Primal event. I don't know why uh, you didn't get many views, dude. But, you know, like, lately YouTube has been, like, murdering uh, pretty much many channels other than, like, the jerks out there, you know? The jerks out there don't get murdered, just so you know. But the decent quality people, the channel's getting murdered right now. I don't know why, bro, KGM. Why do you think that is? All right. Let's take a good look. You guys can see okay? How many fingers am I holding up? Go ahead, tell me. Okay, how many fingers? Don't worry, I'm never going to curse at you with the middle finger, all right? But the question is, how many fingers? Okay. Let's get down to business. This thing, okay, Texas Hill, dose. Okay, that's good job, that's good job. All right. Um, I have a couple other options in the box. Yeah, Nicholas Huntoon, it, it, it's tough, man, it's tough. And I'm going to tell you something, guys. I'm going to tell you something, guys. And, and, you know, you don't have to listen to me. I'm not an expert. I'm just a guy with a lot of RCs. Uh, that likes to talk to other people with RCs, okay? That That's basically what I am. And, uh, you know, then I, like, you know, have, like, a day job where I'm, like, a nerd. But the reality is nobody can tell you how to be a success. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of practice, a lot of years. There's some people that want to sell you the idea of, oh, I'll give you subs. It doesn't work. 
Guys, I have a second channel. It's called The Nitro Gang. You might have seen it. What's up, Grizzly RC, man? How you doing? I have a second channel. It's called Nitro Gang. If you go to it, like, subscribe. I don't even talk about it much. Because legit, like, I can't even get my own channel subs. I'm going to be honest with you. I cannot even get my own channel over 1K subs. It's, it's ridiculous. Now, let's get down to business. What do we see here? This is a drift-optimized chassis. Now, normally, this is a G3.0 engine. This model would have originally had the T15. Uh, or, it well, this one was, was, the, was the Type SS, so it actually would have had the 12RSS. You know what I mean? Notice all of the factory carbon fiber. Guys, this was a super high-end kit. Now, I put in the title. I put in the title here. Rarest and most expensive HPI is in this box. Now, we can debate my claim, but I think my claim is actually accurate. I think it's accurate. The reality is, do you guys know what this thing was sold as when it was new? What was this sold as? Texas Hill, he loves carbon fiber. Yes, yes, yes. And this was all factory, dude. You know, to be honest with you, I don't know any other 10 scale HPI that came with all of this factory woven carbon fiber. It, it is very premium stuff. It is beyond premium. This is premiumer, premiumer. I, I don't know, than like a, being a Scientologist. Okay, you know why I said that? Because to be a Scientologist, you have to be really rich and also, I guess, a convicted criminal like that actor Daniel Masterson. Okay, so it's pretty bad. He's a pretty bad dude. I don't know why he did that. You know, he was a rich dude. He could have, he could have like, paid escorts. You know, I'm, I'm not condoning that. But I'm just saying, I don't know why the hell he did that. Anybody know why the hell he did that? Okay, let's continue. What else is there? Notice the giant opening in the rear. Now, I do have the other chassis like this called the RS-4-3 Drift. That one has the can muffler in the back. This model, which is really not a model, it's not fair to call this a model. Oh man, the gear mesh is bad. Oh yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, gear mesh. The gear mesh, the guy tried to kill the, kill the gear mesh. There's always some kind of an RC murderer. So these are obviously not the original wheels. In the front, this one has the upgraded aluminum steering hubs. We got ourselves the two-speed baby carbon fiber front. Look at that super low CG chassis, uh, well, what was that, uh, servo, my bad, guys, I freaking um, drank too much kombucha over here, my bad, okay. Yep, Indigo, I think, I, I think, I think I do, man. I, uh, I, th I think I do. I mean, to, 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 oh, Melissa over here. Is that money for me to take you out to uh, some falafel tomorrow? When I say falafel, I'm talking about like an actual good restaurant. Like, uh, like you know, a nice Mediterranean Turkish style. Like, you know, there's going to be like, you know, shish kebabs over there. And like sauces is just, you know, well, I don't know what they have. But like, it's going to be good shit over there, Melissa. Okay, so tomorrow we're supposed to go like an anniversary dinner. Sandy, he'll get like Sheba. Sandy only eats Sheba now. He's become a Sheba cat. Sickening. Melissa goes, make nitro great again. Thank you for that, boo. Okay. Oh, yeah, cool. D32 goes Donner. Yes, that's a type of, um, like, what is that? The, the shish kebab they make. It's like, a, it's like a link they put on a skewer. They grill that crap. It's really good. Oh, Indigo there with a matcharoo. Sickening. It's the match gang. All right. Let's check it out. So I'm going to uh, do a little chassis overview, guys. Now, I think I will actually do a whole video on this. This is just a temporary video right here. Uh, as I just got it, like, recently. The front suspension suspension is too low. It's way, 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 way too low. There's no preload. In the back, it's it's adequate, I would say, in the back. Let's see. You guys want to take a look at battery pack? Um, or do you want to hear a little story of the person I bought it from? Do you want to hear a story about the person I bought it from? Okay, actually, he was a really nice guy, so I got nothing bad to say, you know? All right? You will say, dude, do a video on that. We would want to see it, okay? We want to see your WR8. We want to see it. Hey, Texas Hill goes, he wants to hear that story. Okay, man. 
Let me switch this up a little bit. There's also a couple of so it's actually not even the end of it, guys. There's a lot of stuff in that box, and then I'm gonna have to take some antacid now. It really stresses me out. Real, it's real bad. We lost like half the viewers in here. Okay, let me see if people are still here though. Uh, I'm gonna have to go lay the smack, smack it down like on like you know, Verizon. Sickening. Okay, okay, we're back. Whew. Sickening, I don't know what happened. So let me let me go into story time, okay? So I roll up, I roll up, it was a little bit far. Uh it's pretty late. Yeah, that's right, RC. They probably are. They probably are. They're probably gonna. They're probably gonna cancel me one day. It's okay. I understand. It's, it's gonna happen. Like you, you understand, they, they're gonna cancel it. Okay, it's gonna get canceled. It's it's a matter of time. It's, I know that. Okay, guys. So I got a question for you. What kind of an individual would drive this vehicle? All right, my dudes, I don't know. I'm going to have to probably discontinue it. I, I'm, I'm sorry. There'll, there'll be a lot more on this, like, later. But the service is so bad now. Um, I'll do a couple more minutes, okay? But it's, it's, it's real bad. I don't, I don't want you guys to, like, have to suffer through this, you know? Uh, me as the creator, it, it, it's my ultimate, um, you know, right. Well, it's my duty to, to make sure that the quality is good. And if it's not, I, I, sh I, I would hurt myself. I would really go donate blood tomorrow, okay? Which which I have to do next month, okay? All right, so I think maybe we're back a little bit. Hopefully it's okay. So the question was to you guys. I'm going to hold this over here for now. Actually, let's mount a couple of the bodies. I'm going to mount this body. Oh, Lucas Stalkup, how are you, my brother? Uh, good to see you, man. If you guys didn't get to see this last video that just came out like this week, it was just like a little bit of a joke video. I, um... This, this week, it was like two minutes. I was uh, I was actually on a Nitro road trip, right? I was on a Nitro road trip, and that video was not debuted yet, but listen to this, guys. I was legit on a Nitro road trip, and I'm, I'm at Walmart, and I get, a, I get a comment from Lucas Stalkup over here, bro, and I'm like, yo, Lucas, you know what? I, I, I'm gonna answer your message in, 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 in the video. Oh, we got a double match there from Inigo. Thank you, bro. That's the match gang today. So I'm over there with Melissa, guys. Um, I, I bought another Nitro recently, so I'm not gonna show that one right now because like it's really dope. Um, but once again, it's not as I expected it to be. Like almost always, it's like sickening. L l recently, the luck I've been getting, every single thing has been dead engine. Every single thing is dead engine. So, what do you think, dead engine? Yeah, dead engine, dead, beyond dead, De deader than like the zombies, guys. And I, I don't even like zombies. I hate zombies. I hate all zombie movies. I hate zombie shows. Zombies, I think, are the most, like, uninteresting video topic in the world. Like, the undead. We know the undead doesn't exist. Like, shit. It's not interesting, okay? There's more reality of, I think, a ghost being real than a zombie. Who, who here agrees with me? You think a zombie can be realer than a ghost? I just don't think so. It cannot. No, it can't. Right? Now... <coughs> Exactly, just Joe agrees. Zombies super boring, okay? Su super boring. Okay, okay. So I was actually like at Walmart. I was on a Nitro road trip. I get this like comment from uh, you know, it's basically a like, comment response to a video, and uh, from Lucas Stalkup, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna answer this comment right now on video, and then I'm going to post it, and then I did it. But for real, zombies, bro. Yeah, Rob Zombie's the only cool zombie. Yeah, the thing is, zombies like in movies. They're so, like, they're very easy to kill. They're dumb. They got no brain. They walk slow. They can't even run. They can't shoot guns. They can't set traps. They just want to kill you. Like, it's dumb. But, like, I would, honestly, I don't believe in ghosts, right? But, okay, you guys could believe in ghosts if you want, but, like, I don't believe in ghosts. But I think a ghost has more realism than, than a zombie. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay? And all of this, like, undead stuff, it's not true. There, there's no undead. We know what life is, and then it ends. And that's it. There's nothing else. It's not that bad, okay? Oh, KG, I'm bro. Thank you for that, man. He goes, the cranberries do not think zombies are dumb. <laughs> I'm going to have to um, study that comment. Who are the cranberries, and what do they do? Is that is that a subliminal message? 
I'm not sure. But all of a sudden, you reminded me of a movie, The Fockers. You know The Fockers, the movie The Fockers? You reminded me of that. I don't know why I did that. Now I want to go pay GM, man. Sickening, bro. Thank you for that. Okay. Oh, it's a song. Okay, bro. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nerd, okay? I don't really want to tell you. Okay. Well, guys, you want to take a look at uh, the rest of the stuff. And I'm also going to um, give you a little bit of online research because I think a lot of people here probably don't know what the hell I bought. So let's let's go take a little look online, guys, while everyone is still here. Oh, the match with the one-to-one -one matcheroo here from Inigo. He goes, why don't vampires bet on horse races? They'll never catch a horse. I don't know, they're slow. Vampires are slow, they can't ha catch a horse. Shit, that's a good question. Vampires bet on horse races. Because they'll run all over them? I don't know. It's usually a simple answer, but like, it's, a, it's not easy. Hmm, I don't know. So Melissa only likes like scary. Anybody ever saw Hellraiser? She had nightmares after. Bro, I gotta tell you, I was scared. I didn't like Hellraiser either. Ha ha ha, they're in and go. That's, that's actually a funny comment right there. He goes, the answer is they don't like this. Something clever and simple like that. I knew it. I knew it. It's always a play. Let me, let me, let me wait a little minute. Sickening. I don't know why it's like this all the time. All right. I'm going to show you online on my uh, pink, pink laptop here, guys. You, you ready to go pink? Are you ready to go pink? You know, you know, there's like the store called pink. They sell like really like I, I i guess unethical clothing to like young teenagers okay honestly i think that shit should be banned but whatever okay let's let's go let's get pink you ready to get pink i'm gonna show you exactly what this is that i bought guys so we all know what it is we're talking about uh or as the canadians like to say a boot okay oh oscar quendo thank you for that bro he goes sickening 86 Toyota 1.6. Yes, yes. This this was um like a whole line of uh, drift cars from H. &M. It's real bad. I feel bad, guys. You know. Anyways, let's let's get down to business. Oscar Aquendo, you are a sickening HPI collector as well. I think a higher level than I am. I'm more of the really used junk junky crap. You know, as as some people like to say, that janky dough stuff. The janky dough. How you doing? Rock and Coop, man. Yep, pretty well, Rock and Coop. Uh, not really, because figure from all these donations, I'll keep like 60%. And then basically, I spend a shit ton of money on this car. So, uh, not really. <laughs> but it's okay, I appreciate it. You know, it's all good, man. Uh, so, let me show you what this is. All right, my dudes. We are looking at it. Okay, in Savage Flux XS or Jump Shot, I definitely say the Savage Flux XS. I would definitely say Savage Flux XS. Oh, what's up, David? VIP Auto, bro. How you doing? Um, David VIP Auto has been making low CLST engines great today, I see, man. All right. So, let me just... Uh, what, what were we talking about? The question was... The question was... Savage Excess or Jump Shot. So, my channel, really, when I first started doing videos, a lot of them were on, like, the Savage Excess. I owned a Savage Excess. And I'm telling you, dude, it is fantastic. It is fantastic. It is super fast. You can run it on a small 2S or, like, a 3S. A very fast system, very good electronics, and it is beefy. The Jump Shot is just, like, a two-wheel drive, like... I don't even care about it. It's not even... Well, I think there was one, but... The Savage XS is honestly serious. I, I did backflips with the Savage XS. You know, like, many, many times and nothing happened. This is before, like, I was really recording things. So I would say Savage XS. In, uh, in my opinion, to be honest with you guys, okay? All right. Uh, let's see what else is uh, going on over here. Let me go back to live. Yeah. Yeah, Lotus for twenty. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's, no, you know, yeah, it's okay. Let's, uh, let's continue. So, I'm gonna show you guys as long as the quality is okay, and uh, we'll take a look at what else is in there. So, originally this chassis would have been 
let me look at the original engine. So it would have been actually a pull start. So we do have the roto start here included. Let's check it out. I haven't really opened any of these boxes to be honest with you guys. So, oh man, the quality is so bad. I'm legit about to like end the stream right now. How you doing there, Dusty Bones, bro? Happy to see you here, man. I'm I'm honestly very happy that you guys came to this channel today because, um, well, we got a roll to start. Got to be careful with that. Nathan Jorstad goes, have you ever seen the micro RS4 version of that Toyota? I might have. I, I might have. I know the micro RS4 drift is still sold. It's a really, really cool chassis. The thing is with the micro RS4s, the wheels are so freaking rare to, like... If you go anywhere, the wheels are the most expensive part. I can't even get wheels for mine. Can't even do a video because I can't get wheels. Sickening. All right. I'm going to put this on the side. Um, you got to take a look at the inside of the box. There's also stuff over here. So the person I bought this from, he was obviously a big fan of like paint. So let's, let's open this up. Uh, he told me he painted the bodies, you know. So pretty impressive dude. He was a really nice guy, actually, the, the seller. Um, he didn't know who I am. Um, and the irony is he lives in like the area where Boulder Gel is. And he didn't know who Boulder Gel was. So it's okay. I'll tell you something, guys. I enjoyed that Taco Bell that night, okay? I enjoyed it. So let's take a look and see what this is. This is basically a bunch of like paints, colors. Uh, I guess like some body post things over here. Oh, we got a couple useful parts. Oh, I didn't even notice this. This is the pinion for the two-speed, guys. A two-speed aluminum pinion. So this will go onto the clutch bell. These parts, like, honestly kind of priceless right now, you know? Kind of priceless. You guys could see okay or no? Just let me know if you could see okay. So, seller bought, like, a bunch of these Tamiya colors. I don't know how much these even cost. Probably, probably a small fortune. Let's see what else we got over here. So uh, it looks like some kind of race slicks. I don't know how you're supposed to even use this. These are like hard plastics. I don't know how you would even like put this on anything. Freaking weird over here. All right, so you guys could see. Okay, that's good. All right, what else we got? Some colors over here, like Tamiya paints. You know, Tamiya acrylic paint. Hmm. That seems okay. Oh, guys, it actually seems okay. All right, next we got... I don't know, a bunch of this is like a large servo saver. So like servo saver parts, whatever. The rest of this stuff isn't that interesting in this box. This stuff's not interesting. Okay, so what's this? Oil or something? I don't know what that is. Air filter oil. Janky. This is the ultimate jankiness, bro. Never trust air filter oil that you don't know. I think it's this blue one. The blue one seems like air filter oil. We got some masking tape. This is for painting. Painting, you know. Want to paint that. All right, let's uh, close this up. This box is boring. I don't care about this box. Guys, why did I open this box? It's boring. Let's open up the other box. This box is boring. Okay. Now, oh, we got some goodies over here. You guys, remember what anybody know what this is for? Oh, what's up, hey man? How you doing? I'm gonna take some stuff out of the box there slowly, okay? Real, real, real slowly. That way, the ladies can can enjoy it, okay? Like the two ladies watching this channel right now, probably you know Texas Hills girl and and Melissa. That's probably all the girls we have watching. It's okay probably enjoying it so these are super rare like hpi small block engine mounts if you're trying to yes engine mount terry exactly bro uh very very rare so long ago you know if you had the t3.0 you guys know like the t3.0 uh and the old hpi 15s they bolt directly through the chassis but if you went with like any kind of modified engine like for instance or upgraded engine for instance like this os right you need an engine mounts because the reason is you needed to put these like little blocks on, on the side over here. That would be your engine mount. Uh, with the factory engines, they were not gear adjustable. You don't have to worry about it. So this is actually quite, quite rare over here. So I'm pretty happy to own this. All right. 
what's next. Next up, we have, and I kind of showed you this already a little bit. This is a brand new main chassis um, for the Stage D drift. Terra Kerr wants to know, how is the compressioning? Okay, I'm going to check it right now, bro. Again, okay, I actually don't, I don't, I don't think I ever checked it, to be honest with you. I kind of saved this, like, in a box to show you guys. All right, so this is the original chassis, very, very rare. Okay, uh, high-tech servo, sickening. That's right, Texas Hill knows the pricelessness level of those engine mounts, he knows. All right, the rest of this stuff is like, let's see. Oh, I got some interesting things in here. Hold on, hold on. Anybody want to take a guess what this is? You want to take a guess? This is a very early drift gyro. A very early drift gyro, bro. Very, very early. Okay. It's a drift gyro. Well, right, I don't think the guy, he, I don't think he ever installed it. I don't know, I'm kind of curious to see. You guys remember, there was actually a, um, a special box sold by HPI, and I have been trying to get one. It's called the uh, D-Box. It's called a, it's called a D-Box. Basically, the drift box. D-Box, guys. It's all about that D-Box. I'm not even kidding, that's like what they called it. Oh, check this out. Hold on a second. Well, let me uh, re Center. Uh, what is this? Uh, no, center dog bone set. Notice how long this drive shaft set is. So if you wanted to get the stage D conversion, you needed to get a special D dog bone set, which uh, obviously, like, if you relocate the engine to the, to the middle, none of your center drive shafts will work, right? Because, like, you've also moved the transmission. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, obviously, we have a Traxxas glow plug. You know, Traxxas fixes all nitros, so you guys all know, fixes all nitros and never goes away. Fixes them all. And we got the original HPI pull starter. This thing is pretty tough to come by. And um, I'm actually happy this guy included it. I don't know if I'll really ever use it on anything. But let's get down to the chassis now, guys. Let's get down to the chassis. Man, sorry about the bad quality today, man. We lost a lot of you. Really, really, really sorry about that. Okay. Okay. Let's see what you guys are saying. Uh, it also came with the Traxxas electric start system. I don't know why. Uh, I don't think the seller owned the Traxxas, but for some reason, there was an easy start system in, in the box. I don't, I don't know why. But there was. Okay. Well, it fell now. So. So, let's uh, take a closer look at the chassis, guys. If you want, we can take a little more detailed look at the box. Uh, people are saying the quality is a little bit better now, so maybe we could actually take a look at the box. My understanding is this chassis originally uh, started out as the pretty rare RS43 Type SS, which was a kit, and it was the only one that came with a 12R SS engine. Now, it sounds like a really high-end engine it, it was actually okay uh it wasn't the Novorossi one so don't think this is like the Novorossi c12 or like the one that was made that it was called the 12 rsc 12 rsc was a Novorossi variant but this, this is not it okay either way looks like nobody cares about the box that's cool i overpaid for it because of the box nobody cares about that do they All right, Melissa. Melissa, where are you? All right. As a request from Tara Curry and everybody else here, I think you guys want to know, how is the compression? So this has... Oh, Lionel Guy appreciates the box, man. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, bro. Um, you know, I, I really go out of my way to kind of get RCs with boxes, but the problem is they usually wind up being worse than, than, than I thought. Okay, RC, I'm not going to punch this box, trust me. I just want to beat that Savage box up. I don't know why I did that. But, you know, now, now, in the place of that Savage box, we have some real sickening stuff over here, you know? Okay. All right. Let's take a look at um, the chassis. 
Benjamin Martinez, how you doing, bro? Uh, guys, I want you all to know, I was just on the phone earlier with Benjamin Martinez, and uh, he bought himself the rarest Davidge ever made. And I think someone here knows exactly what it is, and that someone's name is Tara Curry. You know what? Davidge Octane. That's right, guys. So, uh, nearby, locally to me, there was Davidge Octane for sale. Oh, Melissa over there. Again, with the $5 dono, make night go great again. I'm trying, Melissa. I'm trying, Melissa. Okay. But the stream is trying to take me out today. The stream is trying. Okay. For real. Uh, ben Martinez bought a Savage Octane. I was actually going to make that deal. Uh, hopefully, when I go with him today soon, uh, we will get to see the Savage Octane running. So the seller, the only thing he said was it needed uh, an HPI ignition system. So I looked it up. I mean, HPI Savage Octane Mission System is kind of complicated. It's like a whole CD box, but we'll have to look at it. Maybe he's wrong and it just needs a spark plug. I hope it just needs a spark plug. Oh, oh, we got a double match over there from Inigo. Sickening. Sickening. Okay. It's all going towards the falafel dinner, Alyssa. Falafel, a little hummus, you know, a little like olive oil on top. A little like whatever they put parsley or something. Man, I love Mediterranean food, man. I should have been born Turkish or something. What I have to be Russian for? Sickening. Okay, we're gonna continue. It's okay, guys. You gotta be proud of who you are, even if you're not. Okay, you gotta be proud. That's what they say in this country. Okay, we're gonna take a look at it. But um, yeah, the Savage Octane. I really do wish. If you, for those of you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, the Savage Octane. Oh, Mac Mac 389 goes 18SS engine. Um, unfortunately, no. But I do have a 15SS engine. I gotta tell you, man. 15 SS engine is incredible. It's incredible. It's the best one I've ever had for like an HPI, I think, the 15 SS. Oh, we got Timothy Cunningham. How you doing? Uh, thanks, bro. Everyone just joining me here today. I just want to tell you again uh, what we are talking about. Uh, now, in the title to this video, I put the rarest and most expensive HPI option. In the box so I already took it out of the box okay so obviously I'm not talking about like an actual option uh, but technically you can consider this an option upgrade because it was the mission D drift kit right so if I remove the body I'll show you this is what happened was if you owned a nitro RS 4.3 uh, of any kind like you could have had a regular one you could have had like a SS it doesn't matter which one you had if you bought the mission D drift kit which was basically a japanese option my understanding is they were all imported from japan uh jb jdm okay that's the time during like the fast and the furious you know you had like vin diesel that paul walker guy was still alive not crashing i think hulk hogan's son was still driving on local streets without seat belts you guys know that hpi was selling sickening kits like this so basically um it was a full chassis kit with a lot of carbon fiber. Let me reset the internet here for a minute. One second. Okay. Are we back? You guys okay? I don't know why the internet is so bad today, man. I just lost like a lot of viewers. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Back to story time. Back to story time. What do you need for drifting? You gotta ask yourself, what do you need for drifting? Now, some of us need a Mazda RX-7. Some of us need a N Nissan Skyline. Um, some of us, you know, need a bagel down the street. You know, me, that, that's me right there. I, I, you know, shit, I'm gonna go buy some bagels tomorrow, Costco. Okay, now, this was a full conversion kit that you basically had to install onto your already pre-existing Nitro 3 chassis. Um, so this was actually, I, I tried to look up the price of how much this cost. Uh, I couldn't find it in any reviews, like literally not a single review said how much. No, how much something like this cost. I could not find anything online. I found a lot of reviews of this kit and I'm going to tell you something guys. If I pick this chassis up, watch this. Well, I can feel very front weight bias based, uh, biased, very front weight biased. Bad news and bad news for you. Huh. 
Hold on. I would say it's 75% dead. 